Welcome to my thoughts today on Jesus Loves Children. Children are very precious in God's eyes. In fact, God calls them a reward. In Psalms 127 verse 3, Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from Him. So many times in our society, children are undervalued. They are not seen as the blessing that they should be. Children are considered a liability, a nuisance, a distraction, when in reality they should be viewed as an asset. How did Jesus feel about children? Jesus welcomed the children into his presence. The very fact that children wanted to be around Jesus and were comfortable around him shows us that they were not afraid of him. And Jesus said, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. On one busy day, when Jesus was surrounded by people that he was preaching to, healing, blessing, mothers brought their children to Jesus, hoping that their children could be blessed. But the disciples tried to shoo them away, saying that the Master was too busy. But Jesus rebuked them and said, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them. You may recognize this from the King James Version, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. Jesus loved the children. One reason that Jesus loved the children is because they have the right kind of attitude that is needed to approach God. Children are trusting by nature. They trust adults, they trust their parents, and this can lead them into trusting God. Children are receptive to instruction, and they are open to new ideas instead of being stubborn. We need to develop a childlike attitude of trust and receptiveness to be part of the Kingdom of Heaven. Matthew 18, Jesus called a little child. He placed the little child among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the Kingdom of Heaven. Therefore, whoever takes a humble place, becoming like this child, is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. That reminds me of a poem I learned many years ago. The last verse said, While he slept, I knelt beside his bed and prayed, God, make me a child like my child here, pure, guileless, trusting thee with faith sincere. It is that kind of attitude that will help us to have a place in the Kingdom of Heaven. Jesus has very harsh things to say to those who would lead children into sin, by tempting them to sin, or by neglecting them, or demeaning them. He says it would be better for the, for him to have a millstone around his neck and drowned in the depths of the sea. That's pretty harsh, isn't it? Jesus doesn't have anything good to say for people who abuse children. Do you know that children are assigned special angels to watch over them? And these special angels have constant access to God? 
healthy that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. God sends those special angels because of his concern and care for the children. Our concern for children should match God's concern. Children should not be taken lightly or ignored. The very least that we should do is to allow them access to us in spite of our busy schedule. Our responsibility is to steer children towards God. There are many Bible texts that talk about this responsibility. In Deuteronomy 11, Moses was instructing the children of Israel, and he said, If necessary, write these things on your hand or on your forehead that you may tell them to your children. Tell them when they are walking in the, down the street. Tell them when they go to bed at night. Tell them when they get up in the morning. Jesus says that just as the shepherd will go out into the hills to search for one lost sheep, the same way your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. As you come in contact with children, whether it's at home, at school, in church, in your neighborhood, in the grocery store, steer them to Jesus. You can do this by your example, by your kind words, by your acts of love. Jesus loves the little children and they are precious in his sight. If you have any Bible questions on the, this, these studies, please send them to me at comments at the coming crisis. Thank you for viewing this video, and remember, God loves you.